If you want to use Overwatch Heroes in your Blender creations and thumbnails, this is the video for you. First, you are going to want to download Iocene OWM from GitHub or the link in the description, then head over to the DataWatch Discord server and download the latest version of Data Tool from Tool Releases. Go ahead and extract Data Tool to somewhere you will remember. Now, create a folder where the files will be extracted to. Open the Tool Chain folder and type CMD into the file path bar. Type this into the command prompt, adding the location of your Overwatch install, and the location of your extract folder, add the type of extract, and the name of the extract. These are the various types of extracts. Unlocks, which extract all heroes, skins, intros, emotes, sprays, and icons. General, which extracts class unlocks. Maps, which extracts maps. And hero voice better, which extracts voice lines. For example, I am going to extract the hero Ilari with the sundown skin so this is what I will type. datatool.exe, program files 86, overwatch, as this is my overwatch install, then extract unlocks, as I want to unlock a skin, then, users, my username, OneDrive, desktop, new folder 2, as this is my extract folder. Then I will end it with Ilari, skin equals sundown, as this is the hero and skin I want. Make sure to pay attention to your own file paths and the quotation marks. Hit enter, and the program will do the work. I recommend to copy the command line and save it in notes to easily reference in the future. Now, I also want Hilari's victory pose, stare down, so I will change skin to victory pose and specify the name. If you are having trouble, there are a list of things that you can do in the command prompt. Now, before we get into Blender, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Open Blender and navigate to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and install the Iocene OWM add-on. To import the skins and model, navigate to File, Import, Over Tools, and find your extract folder. Click on Heroes, your hero's name, skins, Overwatch, the skin's name, and models. At this point, it may be hard to find which folder contains the whole hero model. What I recommend doing is to open the same folder in File Explorer and searching for animations. Usually the character models contain animations so by searching for animations, it will narrow down the folders you have to look in. When you find the folder, you will find the rigged hero model. The model is already textured and ready to use. To add the animation, go to File, Import, Over Tools, Animation. You can find base animations and emotes in the animations folder of the model, but I am going to use the victory pose I downloaded. To do this, select the victory pose folder rather than the skins folder. There you have it, an animated Overwatch hero ready for your renders. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.